So, can a Canon DSLR that was released in 2016 hold up nowadays? Well, we're gonna get into it, and you'll find out. Hey guys, Mike here from NB Creative, and today we're gonna be talking about the Canon 80D. So if you're not familiar, the Canon 80D came out in 2016, and it got rave reviews when it came out because of its really good autofocus, as well as its really nice 24 megapixel sensor, however it is APS-C. But one of the big things for video creators when it came out is it shoots in 1080p at 24 frames per second all the way up to 60 frames per second, and it also has a built-in microphone jack and headphone jack as well for monitoring audio. And for content creators, it also has a flip out screen, which is also a touch screen as well. Why are we talking about a camera that came out in 2016, where there are a lot of other brand new cameras from Canon that are out nowadays, like the R cameras? Well, the thing is, a lot of people may not be able to afford the R cameras, but they may also be looking for a really nice camera to be able to shoot really good photos, as well as really good video in a decent price point. And that's why I wanted to go over the Canon 80D today as kind of a long-term review after using it on multiple shoots, on multiple videos, and a lot of projects that we've used it on over the years to show you what it's like in a real working environment. We're also actually gonna shoot one of our client commercials on the camera so that you can see a side-by-side -side difference between our Canon C200 and the ADD, just so you can make an informed decision on whether or not the ADD might be up to your standards. The camera also comes with built-in Wi-Fi that you can hook up to a camera to be able to transfer photos. Honestly, we never used the Wi-Fi, but the great thing about this camera is that it actually does have the memory card slot on the side of the camera so that you don't have to open up the battery compartment, which is the case in a lot of cameras. Now, I'm not gonna get into all of these specifics like the ISO or how many points of autofocus that you have on the camera itself because you can just Google that and look it up. But like I said, I'm just gonna go through kind of a real world experience and how the camera has held up over the years shooting both photos and videos. So this camera does have a really solid build quality. You can really feel the weight of it and it does feel like a really professional camera. It's not very light like some of the Canon T5i's or some of the Rebels that Canon makes. It's really heavy, it's really sturdy, and one of the really good things we like about it, it, it is weather resistant. So if you're shooting video or photos out in the rain or at the beach, then you can definitely take this camera along. One of the other things that makes this kind of a prosumer camera is the little screen on the top of it. So you can actually see your ISO, you can see how many photos you have left on a memory card, and you can also see what the battery level is really quick without having to look on the screen or anything like that. Now we do use this for photography, but we've mainly used it for videos over the years, just as our C camera or our B camera at some points, or if we want to be inconspicuous, then we'll use this as our main camera if we want to shoot in a public area. And one of the great things about it is the microphone and headphone jack for getting great quality audio as well as monitoring the audio, and you can see that right here. It also does have a USB port and a mini HDMI port, just in case you need to get video out of it. But in all the years that we've had it, we've never used the HDMI and we've never used the USB port because we plug in the battery for charging and then we also upgrade the firmware with the SD cards. One of the other great things about this camera is the swivel out screen. Now, a lot of people might like this, especially for YouTubing, so that they could vlog on it like this, but we actually like it because of its capability with its touch screen to get really really nice focus even if we have to get it really high up then we can just tap on the screen and it can focus if we're not using the dual pixel autofocus feature now with this camera it does just take normal EF lenses it doesn't take any of the newer lenses that Canon has come out with but still a lot of people still use EF lenses and love them right now we have a 35 millimeter right on here and this camera also does have a built-in flash. Let me see if I can get it up here. Oh, the battery's dead. Mm, okay, be right back. 
Okay, I have a new battery, but speaking of the battery, it does use the Canon LP batteries, which is really nice because it gets pretty decent battery life. It does have a pop-up flash. Let me see if I can get it right there. So if you do need to take photos and you don't have a external flash or a flash that you can put on the top, then you still can get some flash at least. Now, one of the biggest pros about this is the video quality. Like I said, it does shoot in 1080p and those are MP4 files, and that's usually what you'll probably wanna keep it in because that gives you the most variation when you want to quickly change frame rates from say 24p to 60p and yes this does go up to 60p in full HD. If you want to do MOV files then you can but it only goes up to I think 30p let me see yep 30p as you can see here's just some test footage that we just shot it really does get nice pictures straight out of the camera but in case you want to do different color profiles it also does different color profiles as well so one big big gripe that we have about the camera and we don't really know if it's the camera's fault but for some reason, even with lenses that have stabilizers, it doesn't get great stable footage unless you have a very, very steady hand. Or if maybe that has to do with some of the rolling shutter, which this doesn't really have bad rolling shutter at all. But again, that's just something that we noticed over the years of using, that for some reason, if you don't have very stable hands, it can get pretty shaky. So we would recommend either using a tripod or using a shoulder mount. Another thing that's really nice about the camera and another pro feature is it does shoot raw photos so that you can get all that data when you're shooting your photos so that you can have a lot of room for post-production when you're editing your photos. And then one more great thing about the autofocus is it does have face tracking. So that means if your subject is moving around or maybe you just are running and gunning and walking with it, then it will definitely keep your subject's face in focus. Okay, so now comes the sample part of the video. Like I said, I'm also gonna be filming a little bit of one of our commercials with this as well as our C200 so that you can see the side by side. Now on our normal commercials, we do use Sennheiser microphones for our Canon C200, but for this, because a lot of you will be using something probably like the Rode Wireless Go, then that's what we're gonna use on this. We're just gonna plug the Rode Wireless Go into the microphone jack and that we're gonna have somebody wearing the Rode Wireless Go and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with the audio and video quality of the Canon 80D versus the C200. So take a look. Our goal is to help as many people as we can get free of their timeshare burdens. And we can help you too. Our goal is to help as many people as we can get free of their timeshare burdens. And we can help you too. Our goal is to help as many people as we can get free of their timeshare burdens. Okay, so as you've seen, the Canon 80D is very, very capable for how old it is coming out in 2016. Obviously, the lens will affect some of what you're using it for. Uh, we just used the 35 millimeter lens on the commercial that you just saw, but it also does come with some kit lenses, which are fine for getting started as well. So before we keep going, as you know, we work really hard to put these videos together for you guys so that we can get you a lot of information about certain cameras or certain gear that we're using. Maybe it's newer, maybe it's older. So it would just be really helpful to us if you like our video, leave a comment, or even subscribe if you want to see more videos that we produce down the line. And it really helps us out so that more people can see our videos and that YouTube puts our videos in front of more people so they can learn and they can watch as well. We really, really love our Canon 80D and it will probably stay with us for a while now just for photos and maybe C camera as well. So if you're looking for a more affordable Canon camera and you don't mind a little older one, but with a lot of features, again, it doesn't shoot in 4K, but it shoots in really good 1080p, then the Canon 80D is probably the best to go with. Thanks so much guys for watching. And if you have any questions about the Canon 80D or if you have any comments about any of the features that I listed, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll catch you on the next one.